Hi. So, for those of you that don't know, I'm autistic. And being autistic means that I have a massive processing problem with the world. I also hate eye contact, and staring at a camera is kind of like eye contact with one eye. So I'm imagining I'm talking to a cyclops right now. But that's not related to what I want to talk about. Today I want to talk about autistic pictures. Which is something I noticed on the internet today, and it just made me giggle. Because people with my... But people who are neurodivergent are absolutely shit at taking pictures. I mean, some of us are probably great at it. And I, I can give them, you know, a good one-two punch. Good for them that they've got a smile that works well on camera. But I've just looked at pictures I've taken of myself as a child and as I grow into the teenage years. And as I try and join dating networks. And it's like, right, Harry, so you're going to smile at the camera. Smile for everyone. How do I smile? It's like, right, just act normal and smile in the camera. What the fuck is normal? And, and then smile? How am I supposed to act normal? And then smile and act normal. And then look at the camera. But don't blink because you don't want your eyes shut in the photo. But you also need to look natural and relaxed. And You look like you're in an electric chair. I'm going to put up some pictures that I took as a child. And I thought, oh, yeah, I, I look sexy. I mean, the hair I've got, fucking stunning. Make better than this mess. But it's like... What the fuck is going on? And I don't mean this to disparage people with autism or people with autism's ability to take pictures of themselves. It's more, I find it funny. And I think we should laugh at the funnier side of autism, which is that our brains don't work the same way as everyone else's. So something as simple as smile and take a picture. What the fuck? <laughs> is a better option. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna put some little pictures at the end of this and you can tell me what you think. <laughs>